Nothing takes the place of CW copy of listening to actual CWQ shows. The only thing better is actually having a CWQ show. But when you're trying to work on your copy skills, oftentimes it's good to just listen to live Q shows. The fading, pitch changes, different fists. You just need to let it all sink into your brain. If you can't be near your radio, but you do have a PC available with an internet connection, and you want to listen to real CW as opposed to machine-generated CW, there are software-defined radios on the internet that you can tune a station to, uh, tune in and, and listen to live CW, although it's through someone else's rig. So let's go to... Uh, WebSDR.org, and at this website, there's a a list of on-the-air software-defined radios. I'm going to choose uh, K2SDR in New Jersey. It was, in the, it was in the attic for 15 so years. Well, let me get it out there. It's doing, doing well. Go ahead. Let's go down to CW portion 40 meters. So, changing the frequency here. We have a Wi Fi view. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to switch to. CW wide, and let's find a good signal. So here's a station up here around 755. Obviously, an SKCC member he just sent his SKCC number. tuned in a station, you can choose a narrower CW setting, and you can even change passband settings if you need to. So WebSDR, highly recommended if uh, you don't have access to a radio but you want to copy some real CW. Um, don't just leave it running if you're not going to be listening to it because it does tie up um, the station from other users. So I'm going to back out. Go back to the originating page. Free, free that station up for somebody else to use. Anyway, WebSDR.org. Um, you can listen to stations all around the world. Not all of them cover the CW parts of um, the bands, but you can look to see what frequency range they cover here. So have a look. Now there are useful apps that you can use when you can't be near a radio. The Morse Trainer app for Android devices is uh, really good. 
one of the modes I like on it is just the English word mode. So it has the top or 500 most common English words already programmed into it. And depending upon how many you tell it to play, it'll just randomly send you words at whatever speed you want to copy them at. It allows you to choose your pitch, um, how much QSB you want, and you can set the both character spacing and the Farnsworth speed. So I could take the character speed up to 21 while leaving the Farns Farnsworth speed at 18 words per minute. And it has ebook reader modes and your typical letter training modes, call sign modes. Um, good app. It's not free, but it's not expensive. Um, if you're going to choose an app, I'd recommend this one.